What is up you guys? It is the Mice 45 here and in this video I'm here to show you guys how to navigate and swipe through apps via gestures on Android. That kind of looks like this. So let's get started. Now I do want to give you guys a, a quick warning, well not really a warning, I mean a quick note that um this module in Expose Installer will not actually um, close the app itself. It will just, you know, help you easily get out of the app without having to always press the home button all the time to exit the app. So, yeah, just, just to, you know, keep you guys notified, um, this will not really close the app. You will still need to hold on to the home button or if you have a, uh, or if you have any uh, soft keys, you will need to tap the task manager button to, you know, close all your apps from there. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. And, uh, yeah, if that doesn't bother you, then you can go ahead and start with the procedure, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so before you do this, you will need to make sure, one, that you have at least Android 4.0. Point four and above. Two, you're also gonna need to make sure unknown sources is checked. Three, that you have root access, which means that your Android device is rooted. And four, you're gonna need this app called Exposed Installer installed on your Android device. Okay, so first, you wanna make sure that you have root access or that your Android device is rooted. If you want to find out how to root your specific Android device, just go on Google and search how to root space the name of your Android device. Like for me, for example, mine is the MyPhone Aquaring 2G space the model number of your Android device. If you want to find out what model number your Android device is, go into your settings, then to about phone. Hey! <coughs> Sorry. And if your model number is the same name as your phone, then you don't need to type that in. And this is also the same way you check what Android version you have. Like I said, you're going to need at least Android 4.0.4 .4 and above to do this. And yeah, so like I say, if your Android device is rooted, type that in and then search for a guy that can help you. Follow their guide very carefully because rooting does void your warranty and it can brick your Android device if you don't follow it carefully, which means it can it can damage your Android device internally. So if it does, I'm not responsible for any of the damage that will happen to it. And once you make sure that it's rooted and you have super su or super user installed then you can start making sure that you have unknown sources is checked to do that go into your settings then to security and then make sure the unknown sources is checked now depending on your android device that may vary for you it may be somewhere else so if you want to find out how to check unknown sources for your specific android device just go on google and search for it then once you made sure that you got all those you need to install the app called exposed installer if you don't have that app you're first going to need a a browser that will let you download files off the internet i'm just using my stock browser for this but you can use any browser that you want and you're going to need a file manager that will let you install apk files like for me for example i'm using es file explorer so once you made sure all of that is checked, tap the download link that I left in the video description below and open it in any mobile browser that you are using. Then once you open it up, you should get a page that looks like this. Once you get to this page, tap the download icon that's colored green. Then follow the prompts for your browser, make sure it downloads. And once it finishes downloading, go into your file manager and open up and navigate to wherever you downloaded that specific file. Then tap the APK itself. Then tap install. And then once it finishes installing, tap open. And then once you open it up for the first time, you will need 
you might need to update the framework. To do that, tap Framework, then tap Install slash Update, then tap OK for it to reboot your Android device. Then once it reboots, um, tap um, OK, so tap OK for it to reboot your Android device. And then once it finishes rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen, go and unlock it, then go back into this app, and then go to where it says download. Then tap the search icon at the top. Then type in, then type in swipe, swipe back, then tap it then swipe left and download the latest version of the tweak uh, of the module I guess as of the date of this video it's 2.0.0 then once it finishes downloading you will have to install it manually just like you did for this app just tap install then once it finishes installing tap done then once you're back up at this screen tap where it says download at the top then tap modules and then make sure that the tweak or the module, which is called swipe back, is checked. If it isn't checked, make sure it is. Then go ahead and reboot your Android device by pressing and holding on the power button, then tapping reboot, and then tapping OK or whatever. And then once it finishes rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen, go in and unlock it. Then go to your app jar and then find the app that's called swipe back. Then once you're in this app, you're going to need to wait for it to finish loading up all your apps. Then once you're up at this screen, tap where it says global settings. And then from here, you can edit different settings, like you can turn this on and off to turn off the module itself. You can turn this off in case you're getting a lot of crashes here because according to the developer it says it can help fix some crashes but it's only for advanced users so if you're really new to this and you don't know much about this do not turn this off then you can tap swipe edge to swipe wherever you want I'm I used it for the right I, I made sure it's for the right but you can choose whatever you want you can choose left right or bottom or all three of them or two of them I guess and then you can change the edge sides here and you can change the swipe sensitivity to whatever you want to not make it so sen sen sensitive then once you edit all this you can go in and swipe from whatever edge you edit it for swipe edge like for me for example it's on the right and then you can just swipe here and there just to close the app or navigate through the app through whatever place you were in before and just to give you guys a quick demo of what that looks like I'm gonna go into Expose Installer I'm gonna tap I'm gonna go to Downloads open it in different places and I can keep swiping right swiping left from the right edge to go back into the previous state I was in or once I get to the main page that I was at when I got into this app I can still swipe left to close the app and like I said it does not close the app itself it will still be here in your task manager you will still need to close it manually through the app it's through your task manager well, other than that guys that's it that's how to navigate and close apps through gestures on Android now, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out. And if you have any suggestions on what I should do next, or if you have any problems with this tweak whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demise45, signing off. If I can just get my camera to turn off.